In previous episodes we've looked at some different groups of echinoderm, these five-sided animals, the starfish, the brittle stars, the feather stars and the sea urchin. And the last and most unusual group of echinoderms are the, the sea cucumbers. So these have lost their arms actually and they become long soft cucumber shaped organisms with the head at one end and the anus at the other. And you can still tell that they're echinoderms because they have these five double rows of tube feet along the length of the body. So this animal is a filter feeder, it will sit in the water and extend its tentacles from the one end. And some species of cucumbers hold the tentacles up in the water and feed on particles that move overhead. Others of them lick their, their tentacles with their mouths and then pad them down onto the surface of the sand. Like, like one will pick up sugar that you've spilt on the table and then they will lick those tentacles one at a time. They're quite slow so you have to sit and watch them for a few minutes and you'll watch each arm come out, pad onto the surface, pick up again and get licked, made sticky again and put out again. And are they using those five rows of feet to move around? But they move very slowly, yes, they right? Yes, move, they move extremely slowly, but they, I mean, they can move, but you won't see them wandering around. This is called the horseshoe sea cucumber. And it lives buried in the sand. And that's why it's got this horseshoe shape. So the, the mouth is at this end, the tentacles are at this end, and the anus at this end. And the animal would live almost completely buried in the sand with just its head and its anus projecting. And that's why it's got this curved shape. A really unusual aspect of these animals actually is that they breathe through their bum holes. <laughs> so uh, they don't have the normal gills, but inside the anus there's a branching structure um, which, which is the animal's actual gill. And in fact, there's a little fish that swims up the bum hole. And people think, well, it's living in the animal's rectum, but it's in fact living in this very nice little home, which the animal fills with nice fresh seawater and then pumps out again. So if you, if you watch the cucumber over a period of a few minutes, it actually inhales breaths of water through its anus and then uses those to pump up these gills and then when it's extracted the oxygen it opens the bum hole and then the whole thing just deflates like a balloon. It all just puffs out and then it pumps itself up again. <laughs> it's like advanced farting. <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> so the animals can actually deflate themselves and they can also actually, if you disturb them, then they can squirt out their guts to distract the predators and, and grow a complete new intestine again. But yes, the animal looks a little sad when he's out of the water, so I think we should gently put him back in his rock pool here. 